The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, as you can see by the Holy Spirit, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. And the word was made flesh. And God Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son was made known by the message of the angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. May the divine assistance remain always with us. And may the souls of the faithful departed through mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the great solemnity of the Trinity, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, united as one God. To prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace, Lord have, Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Word made flesh and the splendour of the Father, Lord have, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest Amen. and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. God our Father, who by sending into the world the Word of Truth and the Spirit of Sanctification, made known to the human race your wondrous mystery. Grant us, we pray, that in professing the true faith, we may acknowledge the trinity of eternal glory and adore your unity, powerful in majesty. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. First reading is a reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses said to the people, Put this question to the ages that are past that went before you from the time God created man on earth. Was there ever a word so majestic from one end of heaven to the other? Was anything ever heard? Did ever a people hear the voice of the living God speaking to them from the heart of the fire as you heard it? and remain alive? Has any God ventured to take himself, one nation from the midst of another, by ordeals, signs, wonders, 
war with mighty hand and outstretched arm by fearsome terrors, all this that the Lord your God did for you before your eyes in Egypt. Understand this today, therefore, and take it to heart. The Lord is God indeed, in heaven above as on earth beneath. He and no other, you and your children, may prosper. Sorry, he and no other. Keep his laws and commandments as I give them to you today, so that you and your children may pos prosper and live long in the land that the Lord your God gives you forever. The word of the Lord. I speak to God. The response to the psalm is happy the people the Lord has chosen as his own. Happy the people the Lord has chosen as his own. The word of the Lord is faithful and all his works are to be trusted. The Lord loves justice and right and fills the earth with his love. Happy, happy the people the Lord has chosen as his own. By his word the heavens were made, by the breath of his mouth all the stars. He spoke, and they came to be. He commanded, and they sprang into being. Happy the people of the Lord of his chosen as his own. The Lord looks on those who revere him, on those who hope in his love, to rescue their souls from death, to keep them alive in famine. Happy the people of the Lord has chosen as his own. Our soul is waiting for the Lord. The Lord is our help and our shield. May your love be upon us, O Lord, as we place all our hope in you. Happy in the people the Lord has chosen as his own. The second reading is from a letter of Paul, St. Paul to the Romans. Everyone moved by the Spirit is a son of God. The Spirit you received is not the Spirit of slaves bringing fear into your lives again. It is the Spirit of sons. And it makes us cry out, Abba, Father. The Spirit himself and our spirit bear united witness that we are children of God. And if we are children, we are heirs as well. Heirs of God and co-heirs with Christ, sharing his sufferings so as to share his glory. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. The eleven disciples set out for Galilee to the mountain where Jesus had arranged to meet them. When they saw him, they fell down before him, though some hesitated. Jesus came up and spoke to them. He said, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore, make disciples of all the nations, baptize them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teach them to observe all the commands I gave you. And know that I am with you always, Yes, to the end of time. The Gospel of the Lord. One of the professors at my college where I trained, who taught me about the Trinity, once said that he heard a priest use a Mars bar to explain the Trinity. He followed this up very quickly by saying, if I ever hear anyone in here doing this, I will name and shame them. Well, as Father Philip is now in St Joseph's Parish Reddish, just outside Manchester, and as I love Mars bars, here goes. So a Mars bar has three sections. It has the outer chocolate layer. It then has the caramel filling and for its base it has nougat. In order for it to be a Mars bar, it must contain all these three ingredients and in that order. If it contains something extra, for instance, if it contained nuts, it would then become my second bar of chocolate, a Snickers. If it contained something less, it would then become something different. 
For instance, if it had no nougat, it would become a galaxy caramel. The Trinity is very similar. It consists of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. All three must be present. All three are individual and different. Three are different persons. Three are different roles. And yet put together they make one God. All our prayers both at Mass and otherwise consist of the Trinity. They are all addressed to God the Father in the name of Jesus his Son and through the Holy Spirit. Our faith professes three persons, one God, a mystery beyond our understanding, but one at the core of our faith, one that runs through everything we believe and say. The Holy Trinity is a mystery, but is one that we have been baptised into. It is the liturgy which we participate in. It's the creed in which we profess it's the sign of the cross that we make countless times throughout our lives. The Trinity is where we meet God in his fullness. Three persons, one God. The Trinity is where God reveals himself to us in all mystery, but most importantly, in faith. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruits of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Sanctify by the invocation of your name, we pray, O Lord our God, this oblation of our service, and by it make of us an eternal offering to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For with your only begotten Son and the Holy Spirit, you are one God, one Lord, not in the unity of a single person, but in a trinity of one substance. For what you have revealed to us of your glory, we believe equally of your Son and of the Holy Spirit, so that in con the confessing of the true and eternal Godhead, you might be adored in what is proper to each person, their unity in substance and their equality in majesty. For this is praised by angels and archangels, cherubim too and seraphim, who never cease to cry out each day, as with one voice they acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread, therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognising the sacrificial victim, by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Isidore, with St. Mary Magdalene, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis our Pope and Joseph our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, Give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow in the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but in the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should come in my room, and I am Let us pray. May receiving the sacramental Lord our God bring us health of body and soul as we confess your eternal Holy Trinity and undivided unity through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you very much for coming out to Mass this afternoon. I hope you have a lovely bank holiday ahead. Here's hoping this is a change in the weather and we start to get some sunshine. I hope you enjoy your day and that you manage to celebrate the Trinity, even if you have a little Mars bar or piece of chocolate. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace.